In this video, we are going to create basic motion effects using CapCut. This is usually used to place more emphasis on areas you want your audience to pay more attention to, such as highlighting posts, body parts, and map locations. Basically, we use sophisticated tools such as After Effects to create this, but in this video, I'm going to use CapCut to obtain these effects. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. Open up your CapCut application. I already have my screenshot. All you need to do is place it on your timeline. Drag a default text to the timeline and then type underscore for like 10 times. Turn off the uniform scale and increase the height to up to 300%. You can also increase the width to cover up the text you want to highlight. We want to highlight a few other text areas. So duplicate the text by holding Alt, then drag over the area you want to highlight. Here the text is shorter, so we reduce the scale width. Then to create a few other areas, we also duplicate the text effect and place it over the place we want to highlight. Also adjust the scale width and scale height to fit in the place to be highlighted. Then go to animation and choose wipe right. This is smooth animation to wipe through the test area. Increase the duration depending on the test that is to be highlighted. I will choose like 1 second, then 0 0.7 seconds in the shorter one. Drag the placeholder to the place where each animation stops and cut out the rest. Highlight the tree and convert to a compound clip. Go to blend mode and change the blending mode to multiply. This will help you see through the test. Here we can see that the darker colors do not have nicer see through effects. So we go for lighter colors. This is the final animation. Next up, we are going to create emphasis on map locations. We need Photoshop to create emphasis on the places we want to highlight. And use Photopea, which is a web-based app and is free. Export the flat surface. Convert your map to 3D. Drag slightly to create this 3D effect and reduce the extrusion depth to like 5 pixels. Afterwards, change the workspace mode to essentials, then convert the map to smart objects. Here I'm going to rasterize, I'm going to go further to rasterize the map so that it will reduce the load on my computer. First of all, use your magic wand tool, then select the countries you want to highlight. We are using Nigeria and China. 
Once you have highlighted the place, press Ctrl J to create a new layer of the selection. Then double click and double click your blending mode to color the selected area. Export all as PNG. Once you're done, drag the flat area and the 2D surface. Let's add this smooth transition and scale up the 3D part to the place of emphasis. Place the Nigerian map on the required location which will fit perfectly and reduce the opacity. Go to animation and choose fade into create a nice effect. Then for more clarification, use the type tool to type Nigeria for easy identification. To download aircraft, go to Google or any other application you want to use such as Pinterest and Freepik. Then save an aircraft, drag it into the timeline and place it over the test. Create a keyframe for transform from the initial location to the place where you want it to land, which is in China. Drag and drop China map also and place it under the plane. Also add the same fading effect. Adjust to fit perfectly. Then duplicate the test area and retype it as China. Change the color to red. You need to create a trajectory to showcase the movement of the plane as it moves. Type underscore for a couple of times. Adjust the width and scale. Then go to character size and adjust it to like 2%. Drag the line under the plane and right click to create a compact plane. Create a mask. This mask enables the trajectory to be visible only when the plane passes. Create a keyframe from the initial point to the point where the plane will stop. Then double click on the compact plane to create this curve movement of the plane. Afterwards, you manually move the plane by creating keyframes so that the plane will follow the path of the line until you reach the final location.
Afterwards, you highlight all the parts and trim it up. Lastly, we're going to highlight body parts effects such as the muscles. To do this, go to the part you want to highlight and click on freeze motion. This will freeze the particular part you want to highlight. Then export that part and place it on Photoshop. Here we are going to highlight the muscle. Use your pen tool to create this effect. Freeze the feather to like 5 pesos. Afterwards, use your brush tool to fade the edges to create this better looking part. Do the same for the rest of the parts you want to highlight. When this is done, export as PNG and drag into the CapCut timeline. Place it over the frozen part and change the blending mode to multiply. Reduce the opacity as well. Then drag strobe effects on the model. That's pretty much how to create highlights in CapCut. If you have any questions, I'll be glad to answer you in the comment section. You can also watch other CapCut tutorials on my channel. I'll put the link in the description below. Thank you for staying true. From most to you, stay creative, live in the moment.